Are you looking for the best thermal imaging cameras? In this video, we will look at some of the 10 best imaging cameras on the market. Before we get started with our video. Starting at number 1. Perfect Prime IR202. The Perfect Prime IR202 is our best budget thermal imaging camera. And it makes you feel like James Bond. It attaches to the bottom of your Android smartphone via the USB-C socket or an iPhone via a lightning port. So it uses your phone's battery and screen. No worries about the screen resolution, then. The idea is quite simple. Plug the IR camera into the phone and use the phone's processing power, battery, and screen to do the rest. This is a very small unit. It adds a shade over an inch, 2.5 centimeters, to the length of your phone. You can easily carry it in a bag or even in your pocket. And it comes with a pouch to protect it. The refresh rate of the image is 15 frames per second, FPS, or 15 Hz. This is adequate if you're looking for heat leaking from your house. If you want to identify prey on a hunt, then look elsewhere. A moving image with this low frame rate is tiring on the eyes. It's unlikely a daily building inspector would buy this. Not all industry people believe the product's temperature range and sensitivity claims. But it's worth considering this thermal imaging camera if you have an occasional need. Or if you fancy having a nifty thermal gadget to add to your collection. At number 2. Floor 1 Gen 3. Floor is a pretty dominant brand in the thermal imaging camera sector. They offer a wide range of cameras that caters to many budgets. This is one of their cheaper ones. Like the Perfect Prime, the Floor 1 attaches an IR camera to the bottom of your phone. But it has its own battery that needs to be charged. This could limit long sessions. Floor supplies an adapter to connect to Android handsets equipped with USB-C ports. Rather handily, you can adjust the connector. This means it should cope with a wide range of cases. So you don't have to remove the case before using the thermal camera. One reason Fleur is a popular manufacturer is its MSX, multispectral dynamic imaging, technology. Many thermal imaging devices allow you to see either thermal or visible light images. Often cameras blend them to show more precisely where the particular hotspots or cold spots are. Remember, the thermal image is a much lower resolution than the visible light image. So having the detail from the visible light camera is a bonus. MSX technology is slightly different. It takes the visible light images and uses them to emboss the thermal imaging. This can be very useful if you're looking for a heat signature in a tangle of wires or pipes. What the Floor 1 Gen 3 doesn't do is allow infrared or visual images to be shown on their own. But this is their entry-level device, so the features are bound to be limited. The Floor app allows you to record stills and videos and organize the files. If you're one of several users in an organization, there is a cloud solution to storing and accessing everyone's images. At number 3. Seek Thermal Compact Pro. Our final thermal imaging phone attachment is the Seek Thermal Compact Pro. You find some fun stuff when researching niche topics like thermal imaging cameras. For instance, the frame rate of the Seek Thermal Compact Pro could land you in trouble if you try to leave the US with it. There are restrictions on IR devices above certain specifications. In case they are used for military purposes. So this is not an international travel option. Assuming your needs are more linked to finding the best thermal imaging camera for a home inspection, read on. The refresh rate of 15 Hz is higher than the Floor 1, and the IR image resolution is significantly higher. Against that, you have to consider that there is no visual image blending or overlay. So the 320 by 240 resolution is the highest you get. This could be a deal breaker for you. The Seek Thermal Compacker Pro is available in several different models. So it's a consideration if you might change your phone soon. It also comes in cheaper compact and compact XR versions. At number 4. Fleur TG267. This is another Fleur and another different body shape. The Fleur TG267 resembles a barcode scanner. The screen sits atop a pistol grip. 
With the same IP54 rating and drop resistance, the target market for these IR cameras is probably mechanics. It is easy to use single-handed and has a laser to show you where it is pointing. The pistol grip allows for a bigger battery, giving up to 5 hours of use. MSX imaging is there, of course. But you are limited to the IR image or the MSX. There is no non-IR image available. But you can record visual images with temperatures overlaid. There's 4 GB of onboard storage. There is also a tripod mount, which is useful to have. There's no Wi-Fi, so you must rely on the USB cable. You also use this to charge the camera, which takes 4 hours to 90%. If you need to use your thermal camera easily with one hand, this is well worth a look. At Number 5. HTI HT19. The HTI HT19 is another pistol grip camera for thermal imaging. It has 3 GB of onboard memory and a rechargeable battery. It should give you about 3 hours of recording thermal images. The conventional camera records as usual. The refresh rate is 9 frames per second. The menus allow you to adjust the position of the images. This is because, like any similar camera, there is some parallax error. This varies according to the distance from the subject. The 50 MK sensitivity is impressive. So is the high maximum temperature of 932 F, 500 C. This might be a major selling point for you at this price point. In other ways, there are some shortcomings. There's no tripod mount, for instance. There is no wireless option, so you must transfer images via USB. And there's no target laser for easy target pointing. The 320 by 240 resolution is a plus. And combined with the high maximum temperature range, it might be worth a look for your specific needs. At number 6. Floor Scout TK Admiral Lord Nelson famously saw no ships. It if was because it was dark, then he needed the Floor Scout TK. The Scout TK is yet another different way of using infrared sensors. This time in a monocular style telescope. The Scout is designed for a different purpose. This is not your tool if you're looking for a central heating leak. It might be good if you're a hunter looking for animals in the dark. You can see from the relatively low sensitivity range that it's aimed at highlighting body heat against a colder target. It should be able to spot warm-blooded creatures up to 262 feet 80 meters away, even in total darkness. It's real James Bond stuff. But it's an expensive toy unless you have a real reason for this capability. But it does this well. At Number 7. Seek Thermal Shot Pro. With 4GB internal storage and 4-hour battery life, the Seek Thermal Shot Pro is aimed at serious users. It also has the thermal company's equivalent of Fleur's MSX. Thermal calls it Seek Fusion technology, and it offers similar performance. An on-screen slider lets you adjust the blend of available light and IR light in any given image. This thermal imaging device is shaped more like a compact camera than other infrared cameras we have looked at. It has a camera-like hand grip on the right-hand side. It also has a tripod mount for stable fixing. If you need to share the images you are seeing, you can stream from the Shot Pro via its built-in Wi-Fi. Rated at IP54 for bad weather use, it is a good choice for tradespeople who need regular and reliable thermal imaging cameras. At Number 8. Bosch GTC 400C. Before we look at this Bosch in detail, it is worth noting one thing. So far, the prices of the IR cameras in this review have increased incrementally. Now, they increase mentally. This Bosch is roughly twice the price of the previous camera. So what do you get for this money? First of all, the Bosch uses its own rechargeable 12V Li-ion batteries. This means that a tradesperson might already have the charger and spare batteries. If the 4-hour battery life is not enough, you can resort to 4AA batteries as a backup. This machine is pitched at professionals who recognize and value Bosch's reputation for reliability and quality. It offers visible light and IR images which can be overlaid for clarity. And data can be transferred via Wi-Fi or USB. Images can be shared and viewed on smartphones or computers. At Number 9. Fleurmister 277. 
The basic specs of the Floor MR277 might not seem that impressive, especially because it is a little more expensive than the Bosch. But it has some additional tricks up its thermal sleeves. Ordinary thermal imaging cameras can show you where damp spots might be. This relies not just on temperature differences but on the effect moisture has. An area of dampness is cooler because of evaporative cooling. But that is not infallible. An area might be cooler because there is excess heat elsewhere. So thermal imaging cameras on their own might not be good enough. This is where the MR277 comes in. It doesn't just measure infrared radiation. It has smart sensors to detect humidity and moisture. It also has moisture sensors for invasive and non-invasive damp detection. Floor combines this with 8-hour battery life and MSX imaging capabilities. This gives you a versatile workhorse for a building tradesperson. At number 10. Floor E8XT. This is our final floor and our final camera. And it's another doubling of cost. Even priced over $3,000, this is not in the heavy hitter league of thermal imaging cameras. The most notable feature of the Floor E8XT is the top end of sensitivity. At 1022F, 550C, this is clearly aimed at professionals who need to work with very high temperatures. As such, people in this market need specific features. And they are willing to pay for what they need because it is essential for their work. Perhaps the most interesting thing about this camera is how little it differs from the cheaper ones. That's not to say it isn't worth the money. It is to say how remarkably well-equipped even some of the cheapest thermal imaging cameras are.